My whole life, I've always had way too much stuff. My dad just gave me whatever I wanted without hesitation, whether it was clothes, toys, or even my genetic liver condition. But it wasn't until I moved hundreds of thousands of miles away from home when I went off to college that made me realize that it's not things that make you happy, but it's the relationships and memories that you make with those around you that matters most. So I made a drastic change and I decided to give everything up. Today is day one of my minimalistic lifestyle and I decided to do this very slowly. I'm not gonna cut out everything from my life cold turkey because I did try doing that with drinking and you know all my doctors recommended it they said it would be good for my body but apparently you're supposed to drink water every day and um, yeah I learned that from a very expensive hospital bill um, so today I'm just gonna be organizing my room and organizing all my little mementos into little boxes and I'm gonna show you guys some stuff in case you want some like style inspiration or if you want to buy it from me So as you can tell, my room is a complete disaster right now, and my mom is a neat freak, so that's part of the reason why I'm doing this. Um, she says I have too much stuff, I tend to hoard things, because as a child, I, she didn't give me anything, like she wouldn't even give me food, so um, that's, so I tend to hold on to stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and organize everything. Um, I'm going to make three piles, one for things that I want and one thing for things that I don't want. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I have. Um, I just have a lot of new clothes because when I go to the mall, I buy stuff even if it isn't even in my size. And I just go ahead and I buy it just so I can look at it even if I don't want it. So um, this is all the stuff I have. Um, if you see anything here you want, um, you go buy it. I'm not giving anything away for free. Um, I think that's a lot of work for today. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, just cover that up, just save it for later, I don't want to get any dust on it, and I will, um, yeah, that's enough for, for today. This is footage of me sleeping on my couch. So I decided to keep all my stuff that I was going to give away, um, but I decided that I like all of it, so I'm not going to give it away anymore. Um, also, I'm going to be wearing the same outfit every day for the rest of the month. This is what I slept in last night. Um, I just, because I, being minimal, you, you're supposed to use the least amount of stuff as possible. So yeah, um, but in order to make up for my lack of, like, giving with my clothes, I decided to give away, um, my bed frame. So I'm just going to take a picture of my bed and then put it in the frame. Um, because I do have two beds, so... So I think for the rest of the week, I'm just gonna go ahead and organize the rest of my room. Um, I took my boots off because I know they were loud in the last clip. Um, <laughs> tap dancer, so yeah. Um, and while I do that, I'm gonna give you guys a little taste of my newest uh, memoir. If you guys didn't read my last one, it was called Love in the Medieval Times because I had a dream that I was a princess and they found my prince. Um, so if you guys wanna go ahead and read that book um you can but please do that after this video so i can get all my money from adsense and i'm gonna play a little flavor of this book that keep in mind i actually did not write this book um i hired a ghostwriter off craigslist to write about my childhood so i can't wait to learn new stuff about myself that i've never knew known so chapter six i had to sit and wait for my punishment I could hear my parents downstairs conferring my father's voice, low and calm, my mother's occasionally bouncing off the walls, peeking and plummeting. After an hour, she came upstairs, stood in front of me with her hands on her hips, and laid down the law, just like George Washington. Your father and I have discussed it, she began, and we've decided that you should be grounded for a month for what happened today. You are also on phone restriction indefinitely. This does not count for your birthday tomorrow. The party will go on as planned. But as far as anything else goes, you may go to school and to work, but nowhere else. I was watching her face, how it transformed, how it morphed in the demon woman she was. I was a perfect child. I had no idea what she was talking about. So yeah, that was a little haul of some of the stuff that I own. I hope you enjoyed that memoir. 
Um, I hope you guys are a little bit jealous of me, and that's just a, the shoes and the purses I decided to keep. Um, yeah, I can do a hat haul tomorrow maybe if you guys want to see that, but I think for the rest of the week I'm going to continue organizing my room and giving away stuff. Oh my god, this sucks. Why did I decide to do this? So it's officially week two. And before trying out minimalism, I actually tried out um, nepotism and socialism, but nothing really seemed to sit right with me. So, um, yeah, actually I just called my boss and I just got off the phone with her. I asked for a pay decrease because I was making $78 an hour and I asked for a minimum wage because we're doing the bare minimum here. So, yeah, um, I also decided to sell my car. Uh, my parents just bought it for me a few weeks ago for $40,000, and I sold it for $3,000. So, using the law of PEMDAS, parentheses, exclamation point, adding, subtracting, math, and division, I decided to, um, I decided that my parents lost $34,000. So week three is going well so far. I just finished up week two. Um, I'm taking things way more seriously now that, um, oh, my friend's actually calling me. I decided that I'm going to um, cut out friends from my life because I need to minimalize my distractions. Hey. Hey, I'm just calling to see how you're doing. Um, I don't think this is going to work out. So, yeah, um, I just broke up with my friend, one of my best friends, my brother. I'm actually going to call my other friend because she's been getting on my nerves, too, and I just really don't want toxic people in my life. Um, she's one of my best friends. I've known her since I was little, but I don't know. She moved away to a different city. Hi. Hey, I'm home, by the way. Oh, cool. Um, I don't want to be your friend anymore. So, yeah, I hung up on her. Um, I hope you guys can make the change. I'll let you know next week how I feel. So today's the last week of the month, and I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering when this video is going to end. Well, there are 40 days in a month, so you just have to be patient, sweaty. Um, yeah, today I decided that I'm going to be giving up necessities. And recently I saw a movie, and they told me that books spread propaganda, and they put a lot of negative ideas in your head. Um, and we all know that I don't have a backbone. I broke that years ago, so I... Um, I'm probably just going to end up burning these books. Um, I have a book. My aunt read the, wrote this. Yep. So here's my fireplace. Please don't zoom in on any of the info of the mail in here because um, we have some really important legal documents in there. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and try to burn this book, and I'm going to throw it in the fireplace. Don't worry because um, my, my dad opens the chimney all year round because we wait for Santa Claus. To come down. I just want to remind you all to uh, make sure you enter my giveaway. I still have to give away my bed frame. Um, I'm going to give it to one lucky winner who comments down below. I also forgot to show you guys my hat haul. I know you guys are probably me bugging me about it because you guys are so freaking annoying sometimes. Um, here's my hat haul. I just store all my different hats in the hallway. So, yep, leave a comment down below letting me know which hat you like the most. I think it might be time for me to log off now. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like Elon Musk, and I'll see you in the next video.